Well, hello there, Aries. This is... Oops, I'm trying to get this on here for you. Okay, this is your August 2020. So, Aries, Aries. There has been so much going on for Aries that we're going to just take one step at a time here. So, Aries, for the month of August, your card that is going to speak about what you're going through for the month of August is right here. So... As I finish shuffling these cards, I am going to say that for the month of August, Aries, it is looking really good. You have the Knight of Cups. So with the Knight of Cups, let me make sure you can see that. With the Knight of Cups, Aries, somebody's coming towards you. Somebody is wanting to make something happen. Somebody is bringing love towards you. But at the same time, this person may create some challenges for you. It feels like, Aries, um, you've been with this person or around this person off and on, back and forth for years, years, one way or the other, for some of you. For some of you, this person kind of may come in and out of your life at times. This person, for some of you, may be only uh, a couple months or a couple years uh, into this situation. <coughs> Excuse me. I feel like right now with Aries, in a lot of ways, you feel like that wounded child. That inner self of you is like a wounded child that keeps recreating uh, reasons to feel hopeless or reasons to feel sad or reasons to feel alone. But, you know, taking things in a different context, it, it's, it feels like for me, Aries, that... Um, for you, home, a place of feeling like home is all you really want. You want something or your relationship, your partnership to kind of feel like home. Home describes your unconscious ability to attract intimate partners with the positive and negative qualities that your parents instilled in you. Now, talking about home, hoping to get your childhood developmental codependency needs met. Now I'm going to say that again. Hoping to get your childhood developmental codependency needs met. Sometimes, Aries, you could have a tendency <clears throat> to even provoke the other to act or look like your original parent. You may be wanting somebody to respond to you or treat you the way that a parent did in a certain, in a certain fashion. A lot of your natural emotions maybe weren't encouraged enough or worse yet, maybe they were suppressed. Maybe you were hiding something or keeping something back in your past. But now you're being encouraged in the month of August to feel the feelings that were trapped inside of you that consistently sabotage your life or you're allowing them to sabotage your life. A lot of you may have had a loss of a parent or parents or siblings. A lot of you may be feeling less empowered, may be feeling kind of lonely, kind of feeling like you have to do things on your own. Again, we're talking about now you being encouraged to face those feelings that you've allowed to be trapped inside of you. Bring them out. Understand them more. Because these things are consistently sabotaging your relationships, your friendships, and more. Home was a very happy place for you. For a lot of people, it may have been lacking in certain areas. Maybe you were closer to one parent than you were another. <clears throat> but at the same time, even though there may have been some kind of dysfunction in your family, one way or the other, every family has it, you are still able to rise to the surface. You are still able to rise above. You are able to get that good job. You are able to get your own home. You are able to take care of yourself. For a lot of you, it may not be a time to create right now, but a time to sweep away everything that hasn't worked in your life. It may be a time in August for you to start breaking down. Maybe go in a different way, changing your old cycle 
of your life and going into a new cycle, a new direction. You may feel like you're walking through the fires of life right now in order to be cleansed and purified for this rebirth, this transformation that's coming for you in the month of August. The universe, I tell you, has plans and opportunities that are better than you can ever imagine. So if you just let go and trust, then you can anticipate what's coming. Aries, what I'd like you to do is to just write down or make a list of what you're afraid to let go of. What exactly are you afraid to let go of? Are you afraid to let go of your independence? Are you afraid to let go of your fears? Number your fears from the worst thing that could happen to the smallest fear of what could happen. Then write down what could be a possible gift of facing that fear. So how could, how could it benefit you? If you write the worst thing down to happen, if your biggest fear is about, I might be alone, then write down what could be a possible gift about being alone. Wow, you might learn more about yourself. You might decide to go back to school. You might decide to go in another direction for something. You may decide that you want to move to a new area. You may decide that you want to wear your hair different. You may decide a lot of things. But I'm willing to bet that once you decide to let a fear go, can you just imagine being able to take the sensation, the sensation of fear out of your body and into the palms of your hands? Surrender it to a higher source. Visualize it flying away. And repeat the word surrender several times. Take that fear. Imagine yourself releasing it and letting it go. Over and over. Just keep telling yourself, I am willing to let the fear go. Because fear is all about Aries for the month of August. Allow your imagination to roam without limits. Access new ideas without judging them. So your first card that comes up today is kind of like hanging around, not really doing much. Oops, I just messed that up, didn't I? Not really doing much. Just kind of biding your time, doing what's expected of you, and that's that. Call it a day. But a lot of you don't realize you have the power, just like the Queen of Wands. You have the power to get rid of the smoke that's being created by somebody in your life. Somebody who's just blowing smoke pretty much up your ass right now, telling you what you want to hear when you want to hear it. But yet they're creating no actions. As you sit there as beautiful as you are, as handsome as you are, you're wanting things to come to you. You're wanting good outcomes. You're wanting something to be better. You're wanting to feel better, look better, dress better. Act better, eat better. You're wanting to sleep better. For a lot of you, it's going to come down to making a decision. You're going to have a decision to make. The decision is going to help you to get out of this mode right here. So when you see the Nine of Swords, somebody who's feeling despair, somebody who's feeling alone, somebody who's wondering what to do, but at the same time, you spend your time, you get your hair done, you get your nails done, you get your toes done, you shave, you, you, you do all kind of things. But at the same time, you're still letting yourself be alone for the most part. You're still not chasing your dreams. For some of you, you or your partner is extremely worried. Somebody's worried. Somebody's not sure what's going to be the next step. Somebody's wondering... Am I wasting my time? I think you already know that answer. For some of you, you have invested so much time into a situation and nothing has come to fruition through it yet. For a lot of you, you kept hoping for the wheel of fortune for something to work out. You kept hoping to win that lottery. You kept hoping to win that relationship, to win that partner over. For some of you, you may decide to turn your back and do some traveling. You may decide to... Get out of where you are and just make some kind of change. Some of you are fearing the worst and some of you are looking forward to a freedom that's coming, a newfound freedom. Again, some of you will continue to...
to self-sabotage and look back on a situation and keep thinking you can fix it. It is not yours to fix. The problem that resolved or re resulted, I should say, can only be resolved by the person who created it. And more than likely, Aries, that's your partner. It is not you. Aries, you have the strength of an unbelievable person, the strength to overcome so many challenges and difficult situations. As you sit there and allow yourself to meditate into the universe and put out all your worries into the ocean and let the ocean waves take them away, even though you know you have this love situation behind you because that's all the cups. You're not allowing that to interfere with your meditation here. You're keeping that behind you. So keep moving forward. There is definitely possibilities coming to you as soon as you release yourself from certain things. You are able to create your own destiny. You are not limited, nor are you being kept from it. The only person keeping you from it is you. I see a celebration coming for Aries is going to be amazing. It is a beautiful celebration that talks about going out in the evening time, spending time with friends or family, getting something done, getting something accomplished. There is going to be an offer that is going to be made to you from a particular person that you have been involved with. Somebody's wanting to communicate. You're hoping when you hear that news, you're going to hope that it is going to be about them wanting to get back together. You're going to pray that things are going to work out for the best. For some of you, you're very afraid because the moon card shows up and you're afraid somebody's still keeping secrets. Somebody's not being honest with you. Somebody's not telling you what they need to tell you. For a lot of you, Aries, understand that this is going to be a one more shot deal. One more shot. And it's either going to be a bullseye on or a bullseye off. So either you're going to get all the way on this wagon or you're going to jump off this wagon. Because it's going to be time now where Aries in the month of August, you are not going to go through a whole nother year of waiting for this person to make a decision. You may in fact get a message from someone. They may tell you about somebody out catting around. Somebody may be playing around. And this person that comes and tells you, yeah, they kind of have a crush on you too. But they're not going to say that so much as they want you to know about this person catting around. So be careful. Because you might find out, find out about somebody who went somewhere with somebody. They might have went on a trip. They might have went with somebody. Or maybe planning on doing that. Or, or that could be completely off for you. And you and your partner could be the one that's going to be taking a trip. That's exactly how that can change around. I feel like you are waiting on this person to contact you, communicate to you, or respond to something you sent to them. It feels like this person responds quickly and then they back off. And then they respond quickly and then they back off. And you keep waiting and hoping. It shows that you, with the Eight of Cups, are waiting for somebody. You're looking for them at a distance. You're waiting to hear from them. You're longing to hear from them. And they were the best thing that you had for a long time, meaning that it was the best chance you thought you had into getting into a relationship, into getting into a commitment, into getting married. So you're willing to settle on them. You've convinced your mind to settle. So why are you settling, Aries, when you could have more? Why are you settling on something that continues to make you feel bad and break your heart? Yes, you've lost three cups. Yes, there are still two cups available. But the question is, are you willing to just walk away and throw away your losses and, and just take what you have left and save your other two cups for someone new? Or are you going to still try to fix all the things that are crazy? Oh, all the things that are crazy right now. All the things that aren't making sense and that haven't settled down yet. Your emotions are all over the place and it's time that you get them back together. In the month of August, you're going to find out there is something new coming. There's something more worth it. But it can't come in until you get rid of the things you no longer need. So, with that being said, that is your August.